Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and the reason that I'm featuring this avocado today and doing a tasting on it is this is meant to be an Ettinger. Uh, now I haven't, don't think I've done a tasting on an Ettinger. In fact, I'm not sure I've ever eaten an Ettinger. Well, what I knew was an Ettinger, and I certainly haven't got any seedlings of Ettinger. And it caught my eye because I was at the local little corner shop and I just happened to look at the two boxes of avocados they had and they had the usual Hass box and when I lifted up the box it confirmed it was Hass on it and I thought these could have been um, they could have been Fuerte that's slightly more common here I didn't think they were bacon because of the flecks on the skin but when I lifted up the box it actually did say Ettinger on it so um there's always a possibility they've tipped green avocados into the box, but the box did look like a new fresh box that had just arrived and it was full of these avocados. So um, I'm hoping this is actually an Ettinger. So I thought what I'd do is cut it open and have a look inside. Um, I think it's ripe. It seems to have a little bit of give on the end. You don't always know till you open them up. I've left it in the fruit bowl for a few days, but I thought uh, I'd open it up and have a look and see what the experts on avocados think see if they think it's an ettinger i can't remember if these are the ones where the stone sticks to the flesh like it doesn't bacon or if these are more of a free stone but we'll we'll open it up and have a look anyway okay so i've cut it in half um it's a little bit firm so i think it might not be quite uh, ripe having said that it's got discoloration in it already has got a quite a large very large stone to flesh ratio and I think that tallies with Ettinger the stone did come off of the flesh but this is certainly not as soft as I would hope it would be now I have got another one which I bought at the same time that I'm going to leave in the fruit bowl longer but having said that this has got discoloration on it which probably means um, that although it's not soft it's also not at peak ripeness so there's a fly hanging around so let's see if we can still get a spoonful of flesh out of it to taste it. It's quite firm in the middle, but it is, seems to be soft on the outside. Definitely not ripe. Shame because I can't do an accurate taste assessment. I would say it's quite, despite not being ripe, seems to be quite fatty oily I'm not sure if that's a characteristic of Ettinger it appears to be ripe right on the outside oops got one from drop it sorry about that <laughs> appears to be right bright on the outside where well, you can see it's this kind of like a it looks darker green right on the outside and that comes out quite easily but the middle near the stone appears to be quite firm it may be a firm avocado anyway I'm just eating it at the uh, tip at the moment and that's a bit softer pleasant flavour but doesn't compare with the bacon and fuertes I've had that I think were at peak ripeness. It's always hard with avocados here because they tend to get picked much too immature and it means they just don't ripen sometimes when you put them in the fruit bowl. So anyway it's the first ever time that as far as I know I've tasted an Ettinger or at least knowingly bought one labelled as Ettinger. You don't always know what you're getting in restaurants of course. It could easily be an Ettinger. But um, I'm going to I bought it mainly to obviously try and grow the stone because I haven't got any Ettinger seedlings. It's a bit of fun to try all the different ones. So we will uh, give the stones a clean up and uh, have a go at germinating them, uh, which I'll update at some time in the future. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Welcome to share the video, of course. Subscribe to my channel and remember to click on that bell if you want updates when new videos come out. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.